Uh, folks, I have to apologize. The cinema report this evening has been has just been canceled. Uh, Spatchley took a uh, some kind of a sleeping pill. And yeah, so I'll catch you guys next week. <laughs> Welcome did back. I just did I just ruin your intro? <laughs> uh, um, I am not going to edit this out, so <laughs> stay it in. Welcome back to another Sunday night snooze and nonsense, <laughs> nonsense report. Uh, welcome to back to another uh, substandard show, as you can hear. But uh, this is the consider uh, <laughs> report. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm tired too from that swim today. <laughs> oh anyway, my goodness! Uh, yes, how are you? What was the, What was the temperature like up in Ohio today? I know it had to have been in the nineties. Oh, it was in the nineties. It's it's yeah. It's oh my I, goodness! Sure I'd hate like, to be a snowman this day and age. I'm telling you. I'm sure it's probably been hot for most of our <laughs> listeners oh. here in the U.S., but uh, yeah, we have a bona fide heat wave. I caught something on the news. There are many records broken. They said something like, D.C., Washington, D.C. is in the dark. Well, they're always in the dark over there, those people. <laughs> really? <laughs> anyway, uh, we have some news and nonsense. We actually <laughs> just did the nonsense, so Spatry, start us off with the news. Okay, well, uh, it appears that Gummy Boot, a new EFI bootloader, has been created. Red Hat developers Akay Sievers and Harold Hoyer ha have created a new EFI bootloader called Gummy Boot, which just works. Now, uh, 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 Leonard uh, Puttering, best known for his Pulse Audio uh, cross-platform sound server, and a system D posted on Google Plus, it's tiny. Less than 64K can show a menu, discovers all kernel configurations automatically. No wacky auto generation of bootloader scripts and can chain load another bootloader if necessary. He further added that Gimme Boot doesn't need any explicit bootloader configuration file at all. If you want to change the timeout default entry, you can do that, which is a simple key press in the bootloader itself. So this sounds really cool. Yeah, uh, my first reaction is gummy boot. My first reaction was like a boot, like in the shape of a piece of gummy candy that you chew on, you know. Like <laughs> gummy boot, no. But uh, I think that sounds uh, sounds very user-friendly, if I, if, mm -hmm. if I can say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, let's see. What do I have here? Well, we had talked about this before. Of course, uh, Google is going to going to get into the tablet wars with the Google Google Google. Yes, the Goobers. No, it's the Google Nexus Seven <laughs> tablet. Uh, seven. It's it's labeled the Seven. I'm assuming because it's it is seven inch. It is going to be a quad core for only one ninety nine ninety nine for the eight gig, and I believe the sixteen gig is two forty nine ninety nine. Uh, pre orders now to be shipped the middle of July, I believe. I think if this if this this thing is built right, I think it's going to knock it out of the park, uh, especially for low price seven inch tablets. So we'll see what happens. I'm kind of looking forward to the final release. I might get one myself. I haven't decided yet. I'll wait till some final reviews when it's, you know, like when some people actually have it in their hands. But I think it's terrific. And speaking of Google, you can now buy uh, Google Chrome OS notebooks, laptops, I believe, Ooh. from Best Buy, uh, starting at two ninety nine ninety nine, which I think is also terrific. Now, I was thinking, Spatchy, where did the name Chrome, why did Google pick Chrome like Google Chrome? It sounds so bland. I mean, I, I would have preferred like Google Potassium, you know, or Google no, Magnesium. Google Chrome, because it's new and shiny and uh, lots of animals love bright shiny things oh like le like a deer in the headlights <laughs> run it over okay yeah sure <laughs> no problem anyway google chrome uh, os laptop laptop notebooks uh, hmm. i believe they are available now so yeah yeah now interestingly enough the best buy employees were getting these uh 
things from Microsoft before when uh, I think it was Vista or 7 shipped out and they were getting a perk where they could get a copy of Windows for 10 bucks or something like that uh -huh. if they took this special training course and basically it was an all all out front assault against Linux Ooh. advising you know these storekeepers to you yeah. know talk people out of buying Linux computers and that sort of thing, which I think is ridiculous. But while we're on the subject of Nexus, Google Nexus, yeah. did you know that there's also a device called the Nexus Q? Uh, yeah, that looks like a little black orb, right? Yes! Nexus Q was a surprise announcement that Google made uh, during the uh, I.O. 2012. Google claims that Nexus Q begins a new wave of content consumption devices. Nexus Q is primarily a streaming device which can stream content, music, and movies huh. from the cloud to your entertainment system. It requires an Android tablet or phone to control it, okay. and then you can simply stream the content from your account. Oh. And it's saying that it is available for $299. Ooh. Yeah, that's a bit pricey. I mean, it sounds cool. It's, it sounds like the, uh, oh, what's that little gadget? It sounds like a Roku or mm -hmm. something like that, right? But $299 seems a bit pricey. It sounds cool. I don't know. Don't you think it's a bit pricey? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'd say so. You know, I think for that kind of money, they should have like a little touch screen or something on it so that you don't have to have some external device hooked up to it. Yeah. What are they thinking? Or at least... Or, 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 or at least a built-in toaster or shaver. I mean, you know, make it really user-friendly. But exactly, uh, exactly. Yeah, that, that's a bit yeah. much for streaming for a streaming <laughs> service to buy. I mean, I, I mean, I want my shaver. Come on, built-in toaster. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Or, or at least a built-in enema yeah. bottle. Something. Uh, something that can be yes. <laughs> well, uh, let's see. Moving along. Uh, well, speaking of Edema, BlackBerry is having their issues. Uh, <laughs> no, but. Uh, I guess they're not doing Why do they call it Blackberry? It uh, doesn't look like any kind of berry I've ever seen. Uh, I think right now that company is having trouble staying in the black. You know, financially. <laughs> fi financially, if you know what I mean, I guess uh, they're having trouble or, you know, trying to catch on to the, uh, you know, smartphone market. They just, yeah. you know, they missed the boat. They, they 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 missed the life raft. They missed their life preserver. They missed the ocean uh, mm -hmm. on this, and I, I don't know what's going to happen. They were scheduled to release a whole line of smartphones, but um, that's been postponed till next year. I guess another wow. round of layoffs. That, of course, is not funny at all. But I don't know, Spatry. They used to be the king of the hill, like what ten years ago, but not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. And speaking of mobile devices, did you know Adobe Flash is dead? There will be oh. no more mobile updates. Oh. And, uh, yeah, there won't be any updates of Flash Player for mobile browsers. Adobe Flash will no longer be available in Google Play Store after August the 15th. Mm. Adobe's, yeah. Adobe's non-free technology Flash is dying a slow death. The company earlier announced that they will discontinue Flash for Android devices. Now the company has posted that there won't be any updates for Flash. Of Flash Player for mobile browsers, hmm. and Adobe Flash will no longer be available in the Google Play Store, as indicated. And uh, so, darn, that's kind of sad to see that. Um, mm, yeah. So yeah, I kind of feel bad for a lot of people out there who you know. And yeah, things, yeah. You know, I, I I still like building stuff in Adobe. Well, actually, I use Macromedia Flash. Uh. And uh, but the thing is, uh, I'm using an older version, so I'm hoping. That at least any content that you know I generate now will be good for another five years. I hope. Yeah. Well, I, I guess it, I guess this is just a, you know a sign of the changing technological times. I guess so. Yeah. But the thing know. is, you know, HTML5 doesn't do a lot of some really cool things that I was able to do in Flash. At least not that I'm aware. It's of. just a matter of time, though. I would imagine, right? I'm, yeah, I, I'd imagine so. But you know, mm. I really may be able to make some really cool content. Oh. And stuff. So, well, I'll tell you what. Let's end this on a high, on a nice, fun note. Um, I have okay. a piece of news. Here we go. Scientists. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here we. But this is kind of cool. And oh funny. no. Our, our, oh no. Scientists again. Uh, it's uh, not about uh, the dinosaurs uh, uh. and the farting. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Here we go. Scientists develop spray-on battery. 
Uh, side, well, here it is. Re well, Introducing aerosol battery. <laughs> is your yeah. laptop out of juice? Just spray it well, with aerosol battery. According to this report, it says researchers, oh, this is here in the States. Well, good for the U.S. survey. Researchers at Rice University in Texas have come up with a technique to break down each element of the traditional battery and incorporate it into a liquid that can be spray painted in layers on virtually any service surface not service surface um that sounds intriguing now i'm waiting personally i'm waiting for the spray on battery tanning lotion so that way smash <laughs> say you and i are out there in the field <laughs> shut up and, and, and your iphone you know battery is dying no problem just let me plug it in my shiznits and i'll charge it for you you know but uh it glows in the dark, so you don't have to. That's right. So, uh, <laughs> uh, the rechargeable batteries made from spray painted layers, which with each representing the components of a traditional battery and all that stuff. But you know, I think that sounds cool. Don't don't you? Uh, I think that's kind of weird. Uh, you know. Well. <laughs> just go into your local battery store, okay? You know, that sells laptop batteries and that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we can't find that model here. Just open up the case. <laughs> spray, spray. Yeah, right. There you go. <laughs> well, I just had a thought. You could spray, spray, spray paint the interior of your house, and if you needed extra juice, just, just, uh, just uh, stick the wires to to the wall. <laughs> be, there you go. Uh, you know. You, yeah. you, know, you know, that's like sticking your fingers in the electrical socket and your hair goes poof. Yes, I know, I know. Oop, side effect, static hair. <laughs> static hair, yeah. Uh, yeah. That, I don't know. We're, we'll probably be hearing a lot about... Uh, uh, they release that. There'll probably be more household fires. Than... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm assuming they don't mean spray down your house, but uh, I don't know. We'll wait and see what happens. This is, uh, this is the future. Spray batteries. I don't know, but uh, spray batteries. I love it. I love it. Yeah. But um, you know, it's really funny. Um, there is one more point I wanted to bring up. Yes. Uh, Grub, Grub two. Now everybody has been saying that Grub two, but actually it's version one point nine nine. Okay. Grub two has been released now. Uh, okay. Officially two, two, two. not one point nine, not two. two. Yeah. Um, yeah. Vladimir uh, Serbenko has announced the release of Grub 2. Grub is the default bootloader for a majority of GNU Linux-based systems. The next major release has come at a time when Ubuntu has decided to ditch Grub 2 for Intel's EFA Linux loader in order to use UEFI SecureView. Now, Grub 2, for the first time, includes an official theme called Starfield. And this also the first time Grub has released Itanium and SGI MIPS port. It now features an EHCI, AHCI, ESCC serial, and a range of other drivers, <sighs> while its new appearance changes. I know. Do they know how to speak uh, English? Uh, Spatry, that sounds, that sounds informative, <laughs> but to be honest... <sighs> yeah. Hey, this is news to somebody. Grub 2 is available. Go get it. Well, let's just grub everybody out of this. But yeah, but uh, on that note, I think I am done with the news. What about you? Okay, yeah, I'm done with the news too. Sorry, I didn't mean to put you to sleep. Here. I figured you would start the show snoring. I'll just end it snoring. You know, I mean, I have some other sounds I can incorporate, but but I'll be civil tonight. So you know, but uh, All right. so anyway, you didn't expect that. We're going live in five. Four, three, and then I start snoring. All that's missing is the sound of crickets, right? Yeah. <laughs> cricket, it's cricket, yeah. yeah. Anyway, yeah. that was, uh, this is us uh, with the Sinner Report, another terrific Sinner Report. Thank you, Spatry. It's always Thank fun. You. As you uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, we will catch you, as always, uh, to our Sometime fine. Sometime in your Linux future. Goodbye.